All right, Damon, kind of gray and gloomy out there, but not too cool. No, I mean, yeah, I don't yeah. think we're, are we still a little above our average where we should be? Right, yeah, that cold okay. front is trying to push in the cooler air, but until it completely moves through, yeah, it's going to be cloudy, but okay. pretty muggy, pretty warm out there. So, yeah. yeah, changes are on the way, though, as we roll into the rest of the week. So, let's dive into yeah, it. Yeah, I'm ready yeah. to either have the sweaters out or not. Like, this you know, whole this change, we having to line. change in the middle of the afternoon because uh -huh. it's hot, but it's cold in the morning exactly. deal. Exactly. It's not fun, and uh, I'm ready for that as well. No doubt about it here. Look at that temperature from yesterday. 80 degrees is what we hit. We're well on our way there again here today. The clouds might keep us in the upper 70s, but it is going to be a close call. Low temperature yesterday, though, at least it did hit the average right around 55 degrees. There's that warmth. And again, it is pretty close to where that cool air is starting to move in now, but it is up to 70 in places like Cumberland and Bedford. Cooler as you go to the north and west, but look at the warmth as you head down to the south and east. It's up to 82 in the D.C. metro, and you're starting to see those upper 70s in southern Maryland. This is where any of those leftover showers and storms, if they make it that far south, are going to run into a pretty prime environment because that warmth has built up. We have a front providing the lift and it's all ingredients that could lead to additional rain and yes, some storms showed this earlier on again. That line broken line of rainfall moved across the area. The heart of central Maryland did not see much rain. There has been some across the eastern panhandle down to the interstate 66 corridor in northern Virginia. That initial wave of precipitation is just about done. There's that cold front again. It's basically just north of us as we head into the later afternoon hours. It's going to keep slowly dropping south and east, producing a little bit of additional shower and storm activity activity out ahead of it as it does so and that's why we have again that threat for storms to develop mostly to the south and east to this evening central Virginia on into southern Maryland and back toward the I-95 corridor under the gun for those showers and storms tonight the rest of us all good to go. It looks like drier conditions will move in as we see cooler air behind that front tonight going into the rest of the week as October, which arrives on Friday, is going to be arriving in seasonal style with very cool temperatures in place. There's that updated look at the Storm Prediction Center outlook still underlying that th underlining that threat for the slight risk of severe storms in Montgomery and Fairfax counties. But notice how this has moved a bit off to the east. It's been trimmed back to the west, so the severe threat is rather low, but it's there as we go throughout the rest of this afternoon and evening. The last of those showers should be dissipating from this morning, but check this out. As we head into the afternoon and evening, another broken line developing right along Interstate 95, moving off to the east, and that's the broken line of storms that could produce some damaging wind gusts, maybe some small hail, but it will be gone by the time we get past sunset. 7 to 8 o'clock, we should be in the clear, and then we are looking at very beautiful conditions as we head off into Wednesday and from then on it's going to be a beautiful rest of this week as we have mostly sunny skies. There's those seasonably cool temperatures near 70 during the day, 50s at night all the way into the start of October. We'll bring back a few clouds and a slight chance for some rainfall, not until we get into the beginning of next week.